All right, let's try to show you how I remove that cabin heater. Okay, so if you kind of reach in here, I think this might be the easiest way I kind of slide in like a little card in this little, uh, let's see if I can kind of put this in here. You can kind of pull that back. And that sort of pops out a bit. can pop this whole thing out. There we go. Okay, so here's the the cabin heater with the cord cable right here plugged in. It's I didn't push it all the way in back in because I just want it was kind of hard to get off, but it's this little piece here that you, that sort of lock clips the the end on so you kind of need like a screwdriver gotta try to get this lit up use like a screwdriver and you pull this little part this little white piece that's sort of the you just kind of pull that straight back and that sort of unlocks it so that's how I did it with a screwdriver originally so that just kind of pops out and there's that little clip there on the end Four pins. Here's the connector. Keyed. You can see it's keyed. There's the model number. So these wires are pretty thin gauge, which which keyed me on to the. This is not the actual high power part of the of the heater, so I felt somewhat safe. Not removing it, uh, sorry, removing that part. And if you look in there, deep inside, you can see sort of a orange wire. It's really hard to see, but there's like a orange wire up at the top of there that's coming in, that's connecting into that. I think that's, you can see that if you look on the other side where the cabin heaters are, uh, sorry, the cabin filter areas but I believe that's the main high power connector up there so this is just the can connector so it's gonna be low voltage uh, well 12 volts I'm guessing a lot better than 400 volts or whatever at the high end so, so I felt okay just dis disconnecting it leaving that sort of dangling down here so uh, yeah, there's another picture of that, that connector. Not a, very big, not a very good picture of it. You can see the keyed connector between pin 3 and 4 is a bit wider than the other ones. So... This is the can connector to that heater, cabin heater. Um, so yeah, pull, you just pull that. Should have turned the car off actually when I plugged it back in, but I'm not driving right now, so it's not the worst. <clears throat> but it, you can see when I pull that, that comes up on the screen and you can just sort of slide it to the right so it comes on occasionally when you're driving it will like pop back up like that but generally you can just slide it over the other thing that pops up is this red warning button or icon and it says this uh, so since we don't have a heater off button this is the closest thing that there is uh, to it we got so you can leave your temperature up really high and uh, everything else works uh, it, it gets cold really really quick so I have to turn off the heater to the, sorry the AC there uh, 
otherwise it'll go down to 68 degrees real quick but uh, that's about it um, you just pop this pan panel back on the side and you're good to go getting about a 5% range increase that or 5% kilowatt hour range increase daily drive 228 well, I've, I've been driving for a thousand miles with this uh, on so this has been steadily decreasing that was higher before um, generally so let's hope that uh, we can get an a, a heater off button right here next to it or better yet two separate set points make this a little bit bigger and have a have a sort of nest thermostat controller that'd be the best that's it